All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do your hack if the two brushes that you have are the B-squared and the Buffy. So you've got some options on what you do first, but I like to start with my all-over highlight. I'm kind of running low, so I'm having to get more than you'll have to. You'll barely dab it in there. Um, I like to start with the small end of the B-squared. I look first to make sure it doesn't have blush on it from the day before. If so, I wipe it off on whatever's close, which is sometimes my arm. And I give myself a nice little layer. Now, if you know, even if I know I want fuller coverage, this end gives lighter coverage, but I still usually come back and add the full coverage with the Buffy. So I still usually start with this one, but you could start straight with the full coverage end of the Buffy if you prefer. So I'm just going to do that in the area where a man would have a beard. So it goes about as high up as a beard could go all the way around here for the goatee. And then I do my nose. Noses usually need a nice little base layer because they're the most red or the biggest pores or the most oily. If you are really oily on your nose, you can add a primer there. So we've taken all the junk out of our makeup that not everybody needs. But if you are extremely oily, then you do need those drying things like alcohol and, you know, other kind of things that are in the, in most generic, you know, makeup, most makeup in general. So we find that most people don't need those. So we don't have them in there, but if you are extremely oily, you'll have an extra step. Um, then I take, so if I'm gonna color correct my under eye circles, which I don't think I need to do today. Um, I could do that, I'll do it on one side. With Frenchie, which is one of our lip and cheek colors. Or, I'll just do so with my brightener, which I'll show you. So if I wanna do it with Frenchie, I'll just put it right in the circle. And I'm using Frenchie because it is orangey and my circles tend to be blue. But you could use mango if you're darker or most people won't need them if you have the Buffy. All right, so now I'm just gonna continue to take, I haven't changed products, still using the same brush, same end. So I'm gonna give myself a nice little, very little product here. I'm not using a lot. I just want my darker color to be down first because if I put a color that's too light down first, if I put my brightener, for example, down first and touch it to the skin, then it's gonna show texture. So it looks like I'm adding more product than you probably think because mine are, I mean, look, mine are almost out. So I'm really not touching much. All right, there we go. Now what I can do is I'm gonna go into the smaller end of my Buffy and I'm gonna use that bright yellow there. And if I wanna tone it down, I can mix it back with my all over color. So that is another way to color correct. I'm gonna go all the way up to the lash line And then all the way down to the end of my nose. So it's gonna make like a pie shape. I'm gonna kind of make a straight line there beside my nose. And I wipe off the excess on my eyelids. Now you can add more or less coverage depending on your preference, but I the, under your eye just has texture more than anywhere else anyway. It's when where we tend to show a bunch of age. So too much product is gonna cake in there. But the biggest thing is not putting a color on there that's too light. Because again, we mix this bright color with the all over color. So see how much brighter that is than the rest of my makeup. And you can see the fuller coverage because I use the Buffy as opposed to the B squared. You see that? Okay. I also like to, if I have extra on there, I'll wipe it off right here. And I keep it so though to lighten up those areas that are already light. And you can do some on your chin, okay, and even up the center of your nose, above your brows. You don't go very high, because we want to keep the focus right about here in our face, and you just kind of blend it as you go. All right, next, um, I'm going to contour. So you've got options again. Um, you can contour that small end of the Buffy. When I do that, I just stamp it on right on my cheekbone, I'm on my cheekbone. Now the contour is drier, so I am dragging that brush through there because it's meant to stay in place. So it's a little drier than the rest of the creams. Okay, so it should look crazy. If it doesn't look crazy, you didn't do it dark enough. And then 
at the top of the forehead. And I have to go back into that bald spot there. We'll just kind of, I start in the hairline and pull forward, darken up that forehead. Okay, because that's not where we want people focusing. You can blend with that. You can blend with the small end of the B squared. You can blend with a sponge. Doesn't matter, you just don't want to leave it aligned. And then I can also tend to blend my contour. I do most of my blending with this small end of the B squared. You can also blend with the big end, totally fine. Okay, so now we have more dimension in our cheekbones. Made our face look slimmer. I also like to take whatever's left on here. You can add more if you like. And darken up my jawline to make it look a little more chiseled. For advanced tips, you can darken under your lip to make it look like a shadow. Totally fine. And then for the nose, I'm going to take, see how it's like a point right there? I'm going to take that. I'm just going to try to draw a straight line. If I err, I want to err with the lines meeting together at the bottom, not going farther away because going farther away will make my nose look bigger. So I just drew those two straight lines and I'm blending it down the side. You do want to see them from the front. You don't want to see them from the side, so I'm blending it down the side. I'm going to darken the bottom of my nose so it comes together in that nice little point. Like, look at my tiny little button nose. Just a lie. It's an illusion. All right, and then I can take the lighter color that we used earlier, come up between those to clean that up. And keep it nice and straight and you're noticing I'm not really I'm not cleaning my brush between the highlight and contour they're all coming together anyway so unless it's blush I'm not really doing much there okay then I'm going back to the small end of the B square oh yeah so if you want to add extra coverage sorry at this point you can take that big end of the buffy you can do this before or after blush and you can add you can paint it on or swipe it on that extra coverage that you want if you have something that you're trying to cover up. What did I just get in my face? Um, I need to move that. But you can add in that extra coverage. And this brush, you just kind of paint it on. Okay, you can paint it or you can swipe it. What is that? Okay, something that I need to move around. It's coming off. Okay. Then I'm going into the small end again of the B squared brush. I'm gonna pick my blush, or you can mix too, which I love to do. And I'm just gonna put that right on the apples of my cheeks, not the part that's gonna go up high. Unless you have a very narrow face, and if you have very narrow face, you can start yours out here to broaden your face out, but most of us are trying to slim it out. So we're gonna start at the front, and I'm literally just tapping it over top of that contour line. Once I do that, I can just kind of blend back in little circular motions. And now that line that we had doesn't look crazy. It just looks like a shadow under our blush. So it looks like our cheekbones are nice and chiseled. That's it. I do all my blending with this. The fluffy end, I'll just kind of give it a nice layer all over to make sure and pick up excess product. Not really any science to it. Just fluffing around. You can go heavier on the blush. The camera tends to wash me out, so in person it looks a little heavier. But that's it. Obviously your lip color goes straight on there. And that's how I'd use the Buffy and B Square brush. And hopefully it will be faster for you. Because you won't be explaining it to somebody. And it will get faster every single time that you do it. So, have a great day.